Mike NMD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my passion is really to help people find healthy living through a whole food plant-based diet. Today we're going to be talking about probiotics in the microbiome. We know that we have to keep a healthy microbiome in order to keep our overall health in check. A healthy microbiome means a balance of good and bad bacteria, namely in our GI tract, but throughout our whole body. One of the ways that we can tell if we're not in balance is we get something called dysbiosis. And dysbiosis comes across as bloating, indigestion, diarrhea, constipation, symptoms you would associate with IBS a lot of times, and then systemic signs of inflammation can be triggered by dysbiosis. So things that we can do, kind of if we know that we have dysbiosis going on and more bad bacteria than good bacteria in our microbiome, we can actually take probiotics. Now, I recommend you take probiotics from Whole Foods if you don't have any chronic issues. So probiotics from Whole Foods, things like kimchi, sauerkraut, fermented foods, miso, natto is a fermented bean that the Japanese love to eat. Things like that are really good for us. So again, if you don't have symptoms of dysbiosis or gut issues, or if you don't have systemic inflammation in your body, no need to be taking these probiotic supplements. Probiotic supplementation, you need to be very careful with this because not all probiotics are created equal. The best, in my opinion, and well-studied probiotic is called BSL number three. It's prescription grade, and trust me, I don't get any money from these folks, but we do know that there are a lot of studies that show that this particular probiotic works wonders. So again, BSL number three, you need a prescription for, and then you have to order it online. It's kind of costly. There are some more affordable alternatives in your health food store. You just need to know what to look for because not all probiotics are created equal. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a probiotic if you don't have a good quality product. Things you want to look for with these probiotics are as follows. You want to make sure that your probiotic has over seven different strains of different bacteria. When you choose your probiotic supplement, you also want to make sure that there is over 50 billion colony forming units of two particular probiotic strains. Those are lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. You want to make sure that you have a good amount of these probiotics. Lastly, you want to make sure that your probiotic is enteric coated, if at all possible. You want to make sure that these bacteria get to your colon and your large intestine in the best shape that they can possibly be so that they can do good in that area. So again, if you don't have symptoms of dysbiosis or gut issues, or if you don't have systemic inflammation in your body, no need to be taking these probiotic supplements. But if you feel like you have some improvement to do on that front, go ahead and take a probiotic. Just remember, it takes anywhere from 30 days to a few months to get the benefit of probiotic therapy. So don't quit after a week. Make sure that you take a few weeks worth, even a few months worth, before you make your judgment on probiotic benefit. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. If you like us at Out of the Doldrums, please subscribe. Give us some good support. If you like this video, please click a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, click thumbs down twice. Thanks for your attention. Aloha.